Radithor. This is a real thing that happened. <laughs> Radithor! I can't, I can't get over this name, Dude, bro. this is a real name. Radium comes out, they start putting it into everything. <laughs> Toothpaste, okay, like, okay. everything. So this guy, William J.A. Bailey established Bailey Radium Laboratories in 1918, he introduced his biggest commercial success, Radithor. Radithor was marketed as a miracle tonic. The product was distilled water infused with salts of radium-226 and radium-228. Each of those bottles contained at least one micro curie of radium. So then there's this guy, Eben Byers, Ebenezer Byers. Ebenezer. He was a wealthy socialite. I know this is an old story. 47, he injured his arm falling from a train. His physiotherapist, Charles Moyer, recommended Radithor. So Byers took the medicine and he averaged three bottles a day for two three years. Three bottles a day? Yeah, he felt invigorated and toned up, perceiving like a comeback. But in 1930, things took a horrifying turn. Yeah, his that's usually how teeth, it goes with radio. His teeth started falling. Falling out. out, yeah. Um, That's usually the first thing to go. Yeah. Exposed bone. Once he started losing his teeth, he was like, you know what? Maybe I should stop drinking this. But Maybe. it was way too late. So he starts getting this headache and this jaw pain. Yeah. And then in September 1931, attorney Robert Heiner Wynn visited Byers to interview him when reported that Byers could hardly speak, his head swathed in bandages. He'd undergone two operations where his whole upper jaw, except two front teeth and most of his lower jaw, had been removed. With jaw. holes actually forming this in his skull. Jaw. Holes in his skull. He died in 1932. I mean, it makes you almost wish you were dead at that point. Like, yeah. you start losing it's, your It's like abscessing, jaw. abscessing his like, brains. Decades later, 1965, like, his remains were exhumed for a study. They were still dangerously radioactive, measuring more than <laughs> twice than what was expected based on his reported consumption. They told on. They dug up his body. <laughs> and now the people that have dug up the body, they probably were exposed? Yeah. Yeah. Unreal. Probably.